Now I come back to all of us. Now the cells in me love the cells in you because you and I are the same energy and different parts of the same whole consciousness. We are bits of individual consciousness. And this follows the Indian philosophy of Sankhya where if you take a bit from the whole, the whole remains a whole, the bit becomes a whole. And this is the concept and you will be surprised, there is now a mathematical calculation for this, a beautiful mathematical formula which is very difficult even for great mathematicians to unravel. And it simply says that I, my cells love your cells. Now supposing I hate you, let us say, I want to destroy you, I hate you. Then what happens is these cells get confused and if I hate you, my own cells hate my own body and I get disease. We didn't know why one gets disease. We only knew in linear mathematics how one gets disease. Today, with quantum physics, we can say, why do you get a disease? I have written an article which you can read in the, it is on the internet. It's called grudgeitis. You heard about appendicitis, you heard about pancreatitis, you heard about tonsillitis, but this is grudgeitis. When you grudge others, you want to hate someone. Friends, it is the mind that destroys you. It's the mind that, that really keeps you going. Now what happens with this sort of a thing is, when once you love another human being, that's what is called spirituality. Spirituality simply means sharing and caring. When I love others, want to share with others, my health improves. That's exactly what Ayurveda said, Aptopa sevi bhavet arogyam. If you treat everyone as your near and dear ones, you will be healthy. Now I'll tell you how you get an illness and when you get an illness, how do you react to the illness? Now when an illness comes, let us say, our concept is, oh, this disease has come. You want to hate the disease? No, no. It's your friend. It has just come with an altered energy and you've got to love it, you've got to accept it and then it probably gets healed. Most of us think it's the doctor who cures me or the doctor who operates. I will ask a simple question to any doctor who says he cures. I want a doctor, the best doctor in India, to do a heart transplant on a dead body and I want that to heal. A heart transplant, even if the doctor, best doctor does it, heals only when the man is alive. And that is through what is called the immune system. Thank God, God has given us an immune system. Otherwise, our cells love so much that when once you come into this room, all of us would have been one syncytium, one mass of cells. We wouldn't have gone out individually. Individually, we look because of the individual immune systems. But it's only a maya. What we see in this world is maya which the German scientist who found out E is equal to M, Hans Peter Du calls as Werklichkeit. Werklichkeit in German means a drama, a changing drama. So I see all of you here. And when I close my eyes, you are not there. So whether you are there or not is only a, not a reality, but it's a myth. Now this is the concept, if you understand, you can understand this is better. 